You have to consider circus a lot like professional athletics. There's always a danger of getting hurt if you don't warm up and condition properly. And I have freaky, freaky shoulders, and almost nobody will stretch my shoulders because they're afraid it they'll break hurts. me. A cool thing about circus is that it's truly a place where the individual's unique traits can shine. And even having freaky, weird shoulders. <laughs> it hurts. I know, I love you. Like every other girl born in the 80s, I was in love with Mary Lou Retton and Nadia Comaneci, and I started doing gymnastics. But the truth is that competition wasn't really what floated my boat. I really liked floor where I could kind of have a little more personality and be a little sillier. And I had also been singing since I was little, and singing and gymnastics kind of led me to theater. I started getting small roles in operas. I did a lot of Shakespeare when I was like 11. I discovered that this magical world of circus existed that embraced music and theater and acrobatics. And it sounded like the most perfect place on the planet for me. So I graduated high school and flew out to Las Vegas the next day. Got into a meeting with Cirque du Soleil, did three years of Mystera, I did six years performing in Cirque du Soleil's Ka with Pierre Luc doing aerial straps. And then we filmed Worlds Away, which was an amazing experience. And now I'm, I'm talking to you doing the splits. In Cirque du Soleil Worlds Away, I play a character named Mia. Mia stumbles upon this kind of dilapidated circus and makes this connection with this very handsome Russian gentleman who's known in the film as the aerialist. Both of them are swept away into the whimsical and mysterious world of Cirque du Soleil. They're taken through the different worlds of the different shows. They get to see a lot of cool acrobatic things, but they're also either helped or hindered by the characters that they meet along the way. It's a love story. Nice, yeah, that's lovely right there. There it is. Back in the 1960s, kind of 70s, my mom actually legitimately ran away and joined the circus, primarily as a nurse, but also as a clown. She didn't act with Petunia the pig. H Mark! Performing with Cirque du Soleil in 2012 is a completely different thing. You have these incredible multi million dollar theaters with technology that has been developed strictly for this. Cirque du Soleil's Caw has a stage that moves, and parts of it were technology that was borrowed from shuttle launches. Circus has come a long way from the days of trucks and big tops, but the beauty is that that world still exists, and it's still the heart of our universe. Get ready for Circus Marvelous! The numbers that you see in a Cirque du Soleil show have usually been developed over the period of months or even years. In Cirque du Soleil Worlds Away, my character Mia and Igor Zaripov's character, the aerialist, do an aerial duet. We knew each other, we were friends, but we had never been in the air together. We had a very short time to put it together, so we just had to bond together and trust each other kind of immediately and just assume that everything was going to work out and be okay. Ready and action. Andrew Adamson brings this lightness to the set. If he needs your character to laugh, he'll crack a joke or he'll make you smile or something. He brings this really beautiful levity. He brought the narrative to life and he brought the performances out of the individuals. And then on the other side, you have another exceptional storyteller in James Cameron, who is the current master 3D technology that we're admiring today in theaters. So we should be able to get in closer and kind of track them up. <laughs> So you have James Cameron, sometimes 80 feet in the air, hanging from a harness, shooting down with 3D cameras, where Andrew Adamson is doing whatever he needs to do to relax the characters and bring the performance out of them. And it kind of ended up being this incredible harmony. Not to mention that in an intimidating situation where you're moving from stage to film, you couldn't possibly have two better kind of guardians. The epicenter of Worlds Away is a love story. So they exist within this crazy world with all of these extraordinary things happening, and it's beautiful, and it's 3D, and it's dynamic. But at the end of the day, it's really a very simple human tale of longing and seeking, and you know, I won't tell you the end, but it makes me smile.